Wait, I can just cast Guy's Descend? That's what's up. It costs 11. <laughs> Let me just cast this thing. Wow, and they didn't they didn't spinning axe before that hat resolves. So they have ten cards in hand again, so they're yeah, they're still just burning stuff. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a fun Sunday stream. We have three cool donation decks to get to today. We got Garen's Peak for our first one. Winter Karma after that, and then a Zoe Heimer um, Pursuit of Perfection deck to round out the day. Just three decks today. We're going to have memes here Monday, tomorrow, and then starting on Tuesday. I just realized the season ends in like 12 days, and I am not, I'm in like, uh, I don't know, Diamond Rank somewhere. Not in Masters right now. Uh, haven't been as very focused on ranking up. So that's what next week will be. We'll uh, play some some decks where we're a little bit more focused on ranking up and getting into Masters Rank, getting into that top 700 before the next seasonal tournament. All right, so um, there we go. So let's go ahead and play some Garen's Peak, though, today. Let's have some fun today. This is going to be a deck with focused on Targon's Peak with Garen in it. Targon's Peak, of course, has reduced the cost of a random card in each player's hand to zero this round. And so if we're going to have random cards... Uh, reduced to zero we want to have some powerful cards so you can see our top end we got three skies ascend three aurelian soul two cythria and two bright steel formation very very powerful nine through 15 mana <laughs> cards and so hopefully we're hitting those cards to make them cost zero we also need to stay alive so early game we got lots of defense we are going to use some daybreak cards for some defense like solari sunhawk can do some good stunning uh, Sunforger with the life steal because we're going to need to heal our Nexus. We have Sunforger, Radiant Guardian, Star Shaping as uh, Nexus healing cards. Garen's just a wonderful blocker with a regen. So that's going to be our other champion. And uh, because we're so uh, built around Targon's Peak, we're also playing three Divergent Paths to help us draw Targon's Peak and find that. A cool card in here that we got is Stony Suppressor, making all spells cost one more because lots of people are playing tons of spells these days. Tons of pump spells and everything like that all over the place. And so we're going to make all the spells cost one more and um, hopefully slow down opponents that way also. We really only have like Divergent Paths as like the only thing affected by Stony Suppressor. Like Sunburst a little bit. So we're not really playing spells. Because Star Shaping is not until like the very end of the game. And Skies of Sand we're not playing unless it costs free. It, unless it's like free from Targon's Peak anyway. So um, we're not really um, affected by Stony Suppressor. So hopefully we can slow some people down though. Alright, but that's our deck. Garen's Peak. Let's go play five games in Ranked. We're playing our decks in Ranked today. And let's have some fun. Okay, we're gonna have Action and Talia. Cool, cool. We could keep Garen, but Targon's Peak is the most important card, right? So like, that's the card that we really want to find. I'm gonna just keep Stony Suppressor because it's a two drop, but basically every other card that costs five plus, we have, we have so many cards that cost five plus, I'm not gonna keep Garen in any opening hand. So Talizu, is there anything you want me to change with the Winter Karma deck for up next, or are you still happy with your list? Raise your weapon, sun Ours is the one true light. <laughs> to yeah, we don't quite have a 1-2-3 curve. Sunward. Because once we play the Stony Suppressor, now the Divergent Pass costs four. So next round, we will just be taking the round off, most likely, and then just saving three spell mana, playing the paths on four. Hey, Hayden. Welcome, welcome. Right on time. We just started our first game. Yep, they're probably going to be trying to uh, double up actions landmark. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I'll cost 16 now. 
from up tight. All right, so I'm passing right here. You can play this to draw Targon's Peak, but you never know. We may just... Add. Okay, I was going to say, we may just draw Targon's Peak normally. And if that's the case, then I could save this Divergent Pass to be able to destroy a landmark. With them being a landmark deck. Yeah, so I could have done that. So, question is, why, not, why don't we just like pass round two, and then round three, we, I could play Paths, Divergent Pass, and then play the 1-3 after that. And I guess my answer would would be I wanted to I wanted to try to slow them down also. I know that would slow me down, but I just in case they were going to be playing some kind of spells, I wanted to get the Stony Suppressor out and stop them from uh, playing spells. But that could have been the better the better line, especially with them being a landmark deck. Plan is to play the peak this round. I kind I hope they open attack, and just do six. Let's put these rocks in the nope. All right, maybe we'll do some blocking first. Instead of taking nine damage. That was a lot of card draw. Distance means so little when family means so much. All right, see you, Tali Zoo. Yeah, Rockfall Path's going to be annoying later, but hopefully we have these kind of things. It's not too big a deal. Really hoping Skies Descend cost zero. You cannot stall judgment. Oh man. That's a good combo. Not exactly sure why it took him so long to figure that out, but yeah, that's a good combo. Seven. Let's see, wait, four. I mean, I guess this is just lethal. Yeah. All right, good game. That was a good play. Obviously, my biggest mistake there was trading away the 3-3. Three, three. The, the one drop should not have done that. All right, so this deck's going to be a lot more aggressive. I know Divergent Paths is a Targon's Peak, but... Ideally, like, especially with an aggressive deck like this, ideally we just draw Targon's Peak normally, because we're going to want... Um, we're going to need to, like, play stuff as blockers and everything like that. Okay, not bad options. Not bad options. I think we're going to take the Traveler. I like playing the Traveler next round, because I don't really want to play the Sunforger next round. This Merciless Hunter card's pretty good. I don't know if y'all have seen this card before. It's pretty good. Man, and then with Young Witch. That's fine. I've become who I was always meant to be. Oh. 
Yeah, we're okay. Watch your head. Wrap them up tight. Open your eyes. I was obviously hoping they don't make this attack. They probably have something to save their merciless hunter. Okay. But you know, now I can't now I can't play Cosmic Inspiration. Shining gifts from the sky. Just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Oh, would you look at this place? Well, I didn't know that they were gonna have a young witch at the time. I knew Yeah, I didn't I didn't know about that. This way, go! The dragon lives. This has been a very good hand from a you know, maybe the Go best deck in the, the format. Danger we're pain. we're playing a meme deck over here. It's it's tough. Step lightly. Just, we don't have the interaction. Um. Yeah, I'm going for Radiant Guardian this round. Because the, the Sunhawk doesn't do anything. The Sunhawk would just take out, out the spell shield from the Sivir. So it's not like I would have stun, stunned anything. <laughs> Sunhawk tie. Yeah, I guess, I, I mean, if I would have taken, so I could have taken this or the Obliterate 2, but we don't, Obliterate 2, we had to Behold a Celestial card also, or we could have taken uh, the 10 mana card, but we already got the 10 mana Cythria, so there just wasn't a really, there was not a good choice there. From this land. Attacking with the 5-1 allows them to block that, which I guess they still block with that. Level up Sivir. All right, so I'm going to have to go Sunhawk and take out the Spell Shield just so they don't have everything have Spell Shield. So they so they have to be a little scared of removal and stuff. But everything has Quick Attack. All my stuff's vulnerable. I guess I should have kept Divergent Paths. You know, I was I was definitely scared of getting run over and stuff, but obviously from, from here, I really wish I had that Divergent Paths. Yes, yeah, so there, there was nothing from the Traveler that would have been good, but unfortunately we had to block with the Traveler. Like, oh, that, how's that thing a 7-3? How's that thing a 7-3? I guess they used the Twin Disciplines on it. I don't know what happened there. Unfortunately, we're playing the same kind of deck, just super aggro and tons of pump spells. This is uh, not what we're going to be good against. All right, I like Stony. I like Radiant Guardian, but we can't really block a Zed. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. Tea for two. No, I'm not. I'm not keeping. Especially, how we know we have to find, um, what's it called? We have to find Targon's Peak. We can't keep Solari Priestess, and Solari Priestess doesn't do any blocking or anything anyway. Yeah, we can't. I, we can't stop his head. Ours is the one true light. Uh, Justin Nellio with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support. I appreciate that. Justin Elio. You are amazing. Thank you very much. 
My skill is unrivaled. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Handle our power! This isn't part of the training. So we made them... Like, that's a good trade. You'll make them spend three mana on a sharp sight. Yeah, I mean, if you're specifically, yeah, him says like, how does Stony help? It doesn't help kill Zed. And yes, if you're if we're specifically trying to block a Zed, no, the Stony isn't very good. And um, yeah, the the Stony hasn't looked that great, admittedly. Virtue guides me. They'll never see me coming. It hasn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't play Brightsteel Protector. I think that the the Targon card, Blue Sentinel, is like what you could play <clears throat> in this kind of deck. Like they could ramp you. Okay, so it's not Sivir Zed. So you, we could realistically win this game. They are. This could be a Scorched Earth deck. Which would be a problem. Alright, so I am I'm willing to keep Garen with this kind of hand. Like we're alright, we got our Targon's peak. We have a, a two mana, three mana card. Hello. Ours is the one true light. I'd rather save the shield bearer for blocking purposes. Uh like this next round, like they go Draven. We go with the shield bear. Hey, Sparky. The party has arrived. Unyielding light. Burn away, doubt. Fact, I am superior. Alright, Traveler, Golden Sister, Warrior. The Warrior could actually kind of take down an Ezreal. Golden Sister good at blocking and gives you the two bodies that, that are annoying for them. We're going to take the Golden Sister. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So yeah, this has definitely been our best hand and the best matchup for us to face. So the first four rounds have gone really well. Yeah, Scorched Earth Watch and learn. is the card that <clears throat> definitely be worried about. You cannot sway me. With Targon's Peak. Time for the money makers. That's just a wonderful trade for us. I'm not sure why they're letting their ballistic bot trade with that. But we will take it. I am. Um, I think I'm interested in just playing. I want to play a couple of things. I think I'm going to just play Garen into Golden Sister and just see if we can get them to take like a Scorched Earth. Get like a Scorched Earth out of their hands. We don't really have like big things for Peak besides this guy's descent right now. What once was two now is one. So this next round, round seven, I could go like peak and then like double soldier and just like get stuff out of my hand. All right, so they're wasting six mana. That sounds great to me. Sure, I could have attacked for four elusive, but I'll take them wasting all that mana. Let's do this. This is the fun part. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm not. I don't want to let their Draven level up and stuff like that. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I definitely think they have another Draven in hand. All right, so that's ten cards over there. So we shall pass. Wow. All right, they they're burning cards. Cool. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. Descend upon them. They may have realized that they shouldn't just be burning cards. They probably realized that. Okay, so this only silences it for a round. Wait, I can just cast Guys Descend? That's what's up. It costs 11. <laughs> Let me just cast this thing. Wow, and they didn't they didn't spinning axe before that hat resolves. So they have ten cards in hand again, so they're yeah, they're still just burning stuff. I thought you'd never ask. One out of six. I mean I can just play stuff. Playing stuff cool. <laughs> there we go. Don't even need the Targon's Peak. We're gonna play Cythria the next round. Alright, that was our best hand and best matchup. We can win those kind of games. Uh, I play a lot of viewer submitted decks, but yeah, I play play off meta all the time. We play a lot of viewer submitted. These are all that's when they have the two Ds next to them. Those means donation decks. These were viewer submitted decks, so I, I did not put together any of these decks that we're playing today. Viego Nasus. Ah, uh, they're gonna start aggressive, aren't they? All right. Well, I'm gonna keep the Aurelian Soul to go along with the Targon's Peak. But let's send these back. Oh. Got a normal Targon's Peak. Quick hands make quick work. Thank you, Emthor. If I play Sunhawk, I take one. If I play Shield Bearer, I take zero, but then our Shield Bearer is. I guess, I guess we use it. Then it's. You know, quote unquote wasted. Stop that thing. Doesn't look good. We're going to have to draw a Skies Descend. Uh, doesn't look good. It was the second worst card to hit in our in our hand. It wasn't the worst. The dark Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Forgetting is death to an immortal. Oh, I should just I should just cast that as like draw a landmark so it doesn't get hit. Are you serious? They both hit the same thing? Come on. Daylight star will rule the skies. I will find you. 
Yeah, they can both hit the same thing, unfortunately. At least we did get to heal our Nexus a little bit with that. We are terrible at Targon speaking. I bow to no one. Back heretic. All right, good game. Too aggressive. That time we had all of our Targon speaks, but they were just too aggressive. So that's the thing about a deck like this with Garen's Peak. You gotta play against slow decks. Like that Draven Ezreal was a slower deck, and they also like kind of took their time. You know, like they were they also passed a couple of times when they should have been a lot more aggressive. But playing against anything aggressive, like how my opponent there had triple one drop start and and uh, then Cur you know Curse Keeper and and Spirit Leech and just had a very aggressive hand, or playing against Zed, playing against Sivir, it's just not gonna work out. That's that's the thing about playing the Targon's Peak and, and you know having all these cards, it's it's difficult to have it work out. But uh, when it does, it's kind of cool, and you can do some cool stuff when it does. But uh, you know, doesn't always. I think I would probably look into. I think I would definitely look into playing Blue Sentinels in here and try to you know maybe have Blue Sentinel allow you to play the Targon's Peak around earlier. I think I'd look into that. But that's the thing is, you don't. You don't want to have like it's Targon Speaks kind of weird because you don't want to have like a bunch of low cost cards because then your Targon Speaks not going to be very good, right? And then you're going to hit like your low cost cards with your um, you know random card costing zero each round. So it's a difficult one to put together for sure. All right, but that's going to be it here for Garen's Peak. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, uh, hit that like button. If you got got other ideas for Targon's Peak, feel free to put them in the comment section. If you've been doing something else with Targon's Peak. Love to hear about it. Uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.